So I work with Excel pretty much all day long every day and uh, I got home the other night and I see that Chandu gave us some homework. So we have to calculate how many hours a fictitious person named Billy worked. So let's go over to Excel. Uh, what we can do is just calculate it one cell at a time. And we have to do this if statement because some of, let's just click this, night shift. Some of these go past midnight. Starts at 9 p.m., past midnight to 5 a.m. the next day. That makes it a little bit more challenging. Here, we simply say take this time minus that time, and that gives you the number of hours, which is seven hours. Down here, it's a little bit more challenging, but we can still do it. How many hours from 9 p.m. until midnight, that's three, plus how many hours from midnight until 5 a.m., which is five, that equals eight. So, we'll look at the formula here, the single cell formula. Our t logical test, is this true? If it is, we do that. If it's false, we do this part here. So, we can definitely do it like this. This is sort of a helper column. And then we get our grand total, we add them all up here. But we can also do this in one cell. That's why I love array formulas. So here's my formula in here. I am doing, let's look at the this part right in here. I'm doing, this is my logical test, and I'm not testing one thing. I'm testing a whole bunch of all at the same time. Is D4 greater than C4? is uh, D, D5 greater than C5, all the way down. So all of this, if I press the F9 key on the keyboard, that gives me true and false values. The first three are true, that's the day shift. The next three are false, that's the night shift. So now I'm gonna just undo that, and we're gonna go to the true part. Here, we have, if it's true, like I said before, we're simply gonna take this value and subtract that value to get the number of hours. So that is our logical our value if true for the, for the day down here as well. I have it in larger text. Um, now, we go back to our logical test here. And if this, every time this is false, so we know the last three are false, three in a row, what we're going to do is this part over here. So I'm simply saying, give me the D4 to D9 values, and it would be these three, give me five hours, five hours, and four hours. Plus, I wanna say one, which is, one is a full day, one minus all of those values if they happen to be false, right? Because we're on the false side here. So it's gonna be one minus the 9 p.m., one minus the 11 p.m., one minus the 8 p.m. So we're gonna get three, like one minus uh, well, the decimal p portion of this, basically. That's what we have over, over, I guess it would be, let's just highlight this. Let's go like this, one minus, we'll go like that, and we'll press the F9 key. So this is showing up for all of them, but we're only getting the last three because those three are the false values, right? If we go back to this part. So, Basically, you uh, can do some magic with array formulas as long as you know how the conditions work. In this case, I only have one condition. You could have multiple conditions. And I don't have any functions inside of here. Uh, I could have uh, uh, functions in here as well or over there. But in this case, we have one condition. What do we do if it's true? What do we do if it's false? In the end, inside of our array, we would have all of, the, if I press F9, all of those values, right? And then these are, these values are the same as the individual values here. So uh, the function around the array, which is sum, basically just adds them all up. And then because it's an array formula, you have to press Control Shift Enter to get the correct answer of 44.